This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your families. Yes, in case you miss it at 6, I am doing it again this year. We are bringing back yet again the Thanksgiving cast. Third straight year for Thanksgiving cast here at WYMT, so let's get right to it. Mark Stoops and the football cat still at the kids' table this year, entering Saturday's game with Bobby Petrino's Louisville Cardinals. A win secures bowl eligibility. A loss might mean Kentucky stays at the kids' table for yet another year. Like a Black Friday ad, the matchup looks enticing. The Cards have lost two of four on the road. The Cats have home field advantage and reruns of last year's 44-40 loss playing throughout the practice facilities for extra motivation or not. Yeah, I told him to turn it off today. I got tired of looking at it, you know, so I shouldn't be on anymore. But, uh, you know, what, what was the question? <laughs> Louisville with a feast of quarterbacks for Stoops troops to prepare for. Last year, Reggie Bonifant started the Governor's Cup. This year, he's only thrown 24 passes all season. It's been a mixture of freshman Lamar Jackson and sophomore Kyle Bolin. Hasn't necessarily been the cream to the banana pudding. 11 interceptions between those two, but it's enough to make Stoops think about it. If you're, if you're behind in games, you know, drop back passing is maybe not exactly where we want to be either. Um, as you know, we have our problems with that as well. So I think staying balanced is a big part of it, and I'm sure they'll want to be balanced just like we do. Um, but, uh, you know, they, they have good concepts, and they like getting the ball down the field when they have their time, so that'll be important to get some, get some pressure. As for Bobby P's cards, they didn't trace a perfect hand turkey this year. They've marked up five losses on the sketch, but with their six wins are already bowl eligible. When they take the drive to see their relatives in Lexington Saturday, they'll try to win the backyard football game for the fifth straight year. Bobby Petrino, uh, he doesn't need to warm up, though. Seems loose going into this one. You guys think about things a lot different than I do. I, you know, it's just I just think it's it's this is a game, man. This is a rivalry. This is Louisville, Kentucky. Let's go prepare. Let's practice hard. Let's go out and compete hard and and play the game and enjoy the game. Enjoy the atmosphere. You know, have it fun for the crowd. Fun for the people that you know um, can call a better play than I can. You know, that's one of the. That's one of the things I've always known is that I call a play and that there's 55,000 people in the stands that can call a better one. Oh, uh, warm up the uh, Turkey Day leftovers if you are not going Saturday. It's the Kentucky Wildcats and it's the Louisville Cardinals on the SEC Network. Noon kickoff time. Before that game, how about a nice appetizer tomorrow night for the Appalachian Wireless Game of the Week. Number four, Paintsville hosting number seven, Pikeville. Winner will play for an extra slice of pumpkin pie, also known as the Class 1A State Championship. Uh, Derek Pugh, he can smell that bowling green carpet from Bob Amos Park. That's where the team practiced this week to prepare for the grass field at Memorial. Well, everyone knows how close we are to getting to the state championship, and it's something, you know, I started playing football on this field when I was in third grade, and it means a lot to me to be this far. And everybody on this team's fired up about this game, and we want to get that state championship. As for Cash Daniel and the undefeated Tigers, we've seen this team roast up defenses all season long. Patesville's offensive line has allowed space for all the athletes to make plays, and that's what Cash is thankful for on this Turkey Day 2015. Uh, you take a look at the past three years, you know, the biggest thing, the biggest change for us has been our offensive line, and, you know, everybody from three years ago said our weakest link is our offensive line, and now, you know, they really can't say that because my five guys are pretty damn good up front, so, you know. They get after every morning weight room. They come out and focus, you know, for two hours in, on the practice field, and you know that's why we're uh, that's why we're in the state semis. This game probably going to have anywhere from five to seven thousand people at it, so get ready. Paintsville beat Pikeville in week three on an overtime two-point conversion. This time, the loser goes home. The winner plays for a state title. If you are still in a food coma, you can watch it right from the exact spot you are sitting right now. So we make it easy for you. You can watch it on this TV and WIMT.com 730 kick time for that one. Still to come, the Lawrence County girls are on deck for round ball previews. Plus, the Johnson Central Golden Eagles go to Wayne County tomorrow night, a preview of the Class 4A state semifinal. 
Welcome back to Thanksgiving cast. Jim Matney is headed to his third state semifinal. The Johnson Central Golden Eagles will meet up with Wayne County tomorrow night at Wayne County. Bryce Workman and Jordan Blanton pick these two guys up next year for your family's backyard football game. A completely improvised play that wins the game at Scott last week is how JC gets to this point. Coach Matney may have had uh, to lay off the salty dressing today. His blood pressure so high even days afterwards. Tell us uh, uh, what happened to your eyeball after the game. Okay. Well, apparently the doctor said my blood pressure had gotten so high that it burst the vessels in my eye. So uh, on Monday morning it was still 150 over 110. So um, needless to say, that game was pretty pressure-packed, intense. You going to be all right, though? I'm going to be fine. Okay. So Matney's going to be okay. As for the game, these two teams serve up similar styles. The Cardinals love to pound the football just like the Golden Eagles. Jordan Blanton, tell us more. They're tough-nosed kids. They're just pretty much like us. They kind of run the same offense stuff. They try to run, run, run it right down your throat. They line up, see who's a bigger man. And They're tough kids, very well coached. And uh, they just know how to play football. They play it real physical too, which I think plays into our game a lot though. So we'll see. It's a great, it'll be a great game. I think they're very similar to us. I, I think that uh, the the plays they run, what they try to do defensively, offensively. I think they're very similar, and uh, they have a very nice team. Uh, I think you're, you're going to see a lot of battles between us and them over the next several years. Um, you know, they kind of have a young team. We kind of have a young team. Time for the last dish of the night. It's a round ball preview tonight. We check in with the Lawrence County girls basketball team. The Lady Bulldogs lose four seniors off of last year's squad. They finish runner up in the district to Belfry and made the regional tournament this season. They've got three seniors and the girls think they'll be a quicker, but Coach Feltner says they can't turn the ball over. Like we miss them and it's a it's a big transition because we have so many like we have such a young team. But this year um, we're young, but we have a lot of potential and we're going to play hard. Well, he has to play good defense um, don't we don't need to get broken down with that. Um, uh, keep up with other teams because I know, I mean, Belfry, they're young too, so that'll be a good competition. And our Pike Central is really fast too, so we need to be really fast with all those. We have to take care of the basketball. We were coming down, taking shots that were, they forced us into bad shots, great difference on Belfry's part, but we have to be able to control those situations better. And we are going to be really young this year, and it's going to be a toss-up. You know, there could be games where we come out look great, and the first few we may look bad. But I have confidence in every player that we have that, you know, we are playing a different style of basketball this year. We plan to press and, and really be up on people and play a lot faster defense. So we think that we can get a lot of turnovers on that. We didn't have a lot of height last year, and I think that really hurt us a lot. And we're not as fast as we're not as fast last year as we are this year. So that really hurt us. And last year in districts and stuff, we kind of panicked and said, hence why we lost. And that's, I think, also kind of what hurt us when it came into region, is we panicked. That'll do it for this Thanksgiving cast. Hope you had an awesome Thanksgiving. We'll be back after this.